Hello and welcome grade 10s to the Reactions in Aqueous Solutions task video. Let's not waste any time and start with the questions. We suggest you pause this video after each question so that you have time to write down the question and work out the answer. What is the solvent in an aqueous solution? With what type of bond is the water molecule held together? What are the intermolecular forces that allow water molecules to be attracted to each other? Is the process of dissolution of sugar a physical or a chemical change? What is the definition of hydration? Write an ionic equation to show how potassium hydroxide dissolves in water. What do we call the transfer of electricity through a liquid? What is meant by the term electrolyte? What determines the strength of an electrolyte? What are the two factors that affect electrolysis? Which of the following solutions conduct electricity? Calcium chloride, copper sulfate, glucose, tap water. Write down the chemical equations for the ion exchange reaction of the reactants below. In each case, name the specific type of reaction. Sodium carbonate and nitric acid. Potassium iodide and silver nitrate. Sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. What are the three types of ion exchange reactions we learnt about in this series of lessons? What is a precipitation reaction? The test tubes, marked X, Y and Z, each contain a solution of an unknown sodium salt. The following observations are made during a practical investigation to identify the solutions in the test tubes. A white precipitate is formed when silver nitrate is added to test tube Z. A white precipitate is formed in test tubes X and Y after the addition of barium chloride. The precipitate in test tube X dissolves in hydrochloric acid and a gas is released. The precipitate in test tube Y is insoluble in hydrochloric acid. Use the above information to identify the solutions in each of the test tubes X, Y and Z. Write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction taking place in test tube X before the addition of hydrochloric acid. You are required to do a practical exam and you are given the following chemicals. NaCl, MgBr2, Ki, Na2CO3, AgNO3, and HCl. Write down the names for each of the given formulae. You add AgNO3 to each of the solutions. NaCl, MgBr2, Ki and Na2CO3. What do you see? Explain how you would interpret each of your observations. Write a balanced equation for each of the reactions you performed above. Explain how you would use HNO3 solution to distinguish between the precipitates that are produced when silver nitrate is added to NaCl and Na2CO3. Write a balanced equation for the following reactions and say what is the driving force for each reaction. Chlorine and sodium iodide sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide. Question 17. Identify each of the following reactions and say what is the driving force for each of these reactions. Potassium bromide plus silver nitrate gives potassium nitrate and silver bromide. Zinc and hydrochloric acid produce zinc chloride and hydrogen. Thank you for joining us for this series grade 10s. If you had any problems with these questions, please watch the other videos in the Reactions in Aqueous Solutions series for more help or go to our website. Goodbye!